This is 1970s Lincoln sent with large date and double die obverse. Graded in mint state 65 read by PCGS. According to Ron Guth, 1970s cents are found with either a small date or a large date. Both varieties are common, but collectors like to have one of each. To tell the two varieties apart, draw an imaginary line that connects the top of the 9 and the 0 of the date and another connecting the bottom of the 1 and the bottom of the 0. On the large date, the top of the 7 will be below the top line and the tip of the 7 will below the lower line. On the small date, the top of the 7 appears to touch the top line and will not go below the lower line. This MS-65 large date sent ended up selling for $17,600 with buyer's fee. Number 6. Here is 1956 Lincoln cent in mint state 67 plus red condition. The 1956 cent is about four times as scarce in MS-67 red at PCGS as it is at NGC. This piece is one of just three MS-67 red coins at PCGS with A plus designation. It displays vibrant fire orange luster and a bold strike, with no trace of carbon. The eye appeal is stunning. It was sold for $57,600. Number 5. Here is 1923s Lincoln sent in MS-65 red condition. With an old green PCGS holder and top grade registry coin. Most red 1923s cents grade only MS-63 or MS-64. Gems are rare. Remarkably clean, satiny surfaces display uniform copper red luster and no carbon spotting. Even a 10x loop fails to unearth obtrusive imperfections. The strike is sharp, and I appeal is outstanding for the issue. This is a elusive coin of exquisite quality. Just a single specimen was graded higher by PCGS. It ended up selling for $66,000. Number 4. This is 1914 D. Lincoln sent in MS-66 red condition. Another superb gem with CAC sticker on the holder. Though not the lowest mintage issue in the Lincoln cent, the 1,193,000 cents coined at Denver in 1914 have the smallest surviving population. The other two dates were targeted by speculators and thus survive in disproportionately high numbers, while 1914 D. cents flew under the radar until the opportunity to save them was all but lost. Most surviving mint state examples of this date are probably from a hoard of 700 pieces mentioned by Walter Breen and still in existence through the early 1950s. Others are from two rolls of spotted red and brown pieces that was discovered in Hawaii or the Philippines during the 1970s, according to a first-hand account by Dave Bowers. Though sharply struck 1914 D cents are found, most have moderate dye erosion and loss of detail, the lapel of Lincoln's coat being a shallow feature of the design often lost to severe dye polishing. This highly sought-after penny ended up selling for $109,687.50 with buyer's fee. Number 3. Moving on with this 1909 SVDB Lincoln cent. Graded in mint state 67 read by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to NGC, for generations of American coin collectors, this issue has been the coin highest on their want lists. It has the lowest mintage of any Lincoln cent issued for circulation, and examples were rarely found in change. Had this low figure occurred a few years into the series instead of at the very beginning, examples would be truly rare in mint state. As it is, many were saved at the time of issue because of the controversial initials VDB the public assumed, incorrectly, that this variety would be withdrawn. The narrow spread over so many grades confirms that there is little difference in rarity below the gem level. Whatever the facts, the appeal of this issue is undeniable, and no collection of Lincoln cents is complete without it. This rare specimen fetched a sum of $345,375 with buyer's fee. Number 2. This is 1969's Lincoln cent with double die obverse. Graded in mint state 66 read by PCGS. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, the 1969s double diober cent was one of the few coins ever to appear on America's most wanted list. True 1969s double diober cents today are extremely scarce. However, many new collectors confuse the 1969s double diober cents with machine doubling. Machine doubling is caused when the coin dies bounce as coins are struck. This occurs when the bolts holding the coin dies loosen. Machine doubling is very common and commands no premium. A true 1969s double die obverse cent will not have doubling on the mint mark as the mint mark was punched into the die separately. On a machine doubled coin, 
The mint mark will be doubled along with most or all of the legends and devices. A true 1969 S doubled die of percent will have strong and prominent doubling on the date. The doubling appears on a southeast direction and is more prominent on the date, the word liberty, and the words in God we trust. This specimen was sold for $601,875 with buyer's fee. Number 1. This is extremely rare 1958 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in Mint State 65 read by PCGS. According to PR News, it was owned by numismatist and sculptor Stuart Blay of New York who died at age 71 in November. His set of 276 mint condition Lincoln cents dating back to 1909 with a combined face value of only $2.76 sold for $7,731,811 in a series of six auctions. Double dies occur when the metal die used to make coins is incorrectly struck twice, resulting in all coins minted with that die to appear double struck. This mismade 1958 Lincoln sent with severe doubling and some of the lettering was sold for a record $1.136 million by Great Collections of Irvine, California. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this information helpful consider subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to smash like button. See you in the next episode.